how much did you steal? <laughs> it's not how much you steal. It's what you steal. And how you steal it. <laughs> Looks like this primal stone thing that Basso wants is in the ceremony room at Northcrest Manor. It's the Baron's mansion. Won't be easy. Worried? Yes, and so should you. We'll be fine. I'll pick up your slack. <sighs> this job's getting more complicated by the second. Garrett, it's Victoria. I trust you made it back alive. You've done well, Garrett. Come with me and bring the sword. There is someone you have to meet. It's time for the payment you've been promised. Yes. A refreshment, Mr. Garrett. I'm in the possession of a superior brandy that has the most restorative effect. I prefer my payment in cash, not liquor, Mr... My apologies. I've been watching you, Mr. Garrett. So closely, in fact, that I'm afraid I'd forgotten we haven't actually met yet. I am Constantine. All this time I thought you were gonna pay me. You brought me here to kill me? But you have it all wrong, Mr. Garrett. Would it surprise you to know that it was I who hired you to steal my own sword? Yes. You see, Victoria and I are... Old associates. Yes. You were being tested, do you understand? And I must say, you more than live up to your reputation. You are quite an extraordinary thief. Testing me? What is it you want from me, Constantine? I am a collector, Mr. Garrett. But there are some items that are not available for purchase. They must be acquired using other means. In this case, the item in question would be best acquired by thieving. Not simple thieving. No. I need an artist like yourself. What exactly is this item? It is the gemstone called the Eye for its unusual appearance. Yes. Kept hidden in the sealed cathedral deep inside the halls of the scum Hammerites. Oh, but forgive me. You are, possibly, friendly with the Order of the Hammer. No. Fanatics make unreliable friends. Excellent. I am prepared to offer you quite a sum. A hundred thousand upon receipt of the eye. I don't see how I can refuse such an offer. Marvelous. Victoria can fill you in on all the particulars. And Mr. Garrett. The sword. Keep it. You have earned it, but also, I believe you'll find it useful in your quest.
What did you do with Aaron at the asylum? When the stone broke, and the book was destroyed, the energy somehow passed to her. Exposure to this source has a terrifying effect, twisting mind and body. I know what it can do. Where is the girl? I tried removing the energy from her. But when that bastard took Aaron from Moira, he took my dream with her! Who are you talking about? It was Aldous who took the girl. Aldous! You know him better as Orion. My brother. I was contacted by a woman named Victoria. She claims to represent a client who was impressed by the way I took care of Ramirez and now wants me to steal something for him. The target is a magical sword owned by a nobleman and collector named Constantine. Little is known about Constantine except that he is an eccentric new face in the city and mostly keeps to himself. Victoria says the sword will probably be on display, but it will be well protected by guards and security systems. She also mentioned that the guards are tough and organized, and the mansion is confusing to navigate in. I can't believe that some coffer went and spilled mead all over that rug! <sighs> Benny, you spilled the mead on the rug. Anyway, someone is on their way up to clean it up already. But you don't understand! These coffers have no respect for such beautiful things! Benny, I think you've had too much to drink. Aren't you supposed to be on duty? So, what if I am, huh? Anyways, I work better when I'm drunk. It makes me fearless. If I see a bad guy, I'll just point my sword at him and say... Hey, bad guy! You're not supposed to be here! Go home or I'll stop! Stick you with my sword, Chili! You go! Ouch! I'm dead! <laughs> See? There ain't no one gonna be messing with old Benny. Whatever, Benny. I think you should go sleep it off. No more mead for you. <clears throat> Stood the Master Builder upon the ground, and he saw that the ground was good and clean. No grasses marred his path, nay, not a wisp of vilest weed did spoil his view. Let thy furnace be fueled, fuelless. Let thy buildings be sound, fuelless. Let thy foes be vanquished, fuelless. And all thine endeavors be a blessing unto thee. Wait, wait, wait. You're not thinking about those tall tales about the legendary Great Safe, are you? Look, Garrett. No one is paying you to risk your head for this. It's not about the payment. It's who I am.
With the talismans, I'll be able to break the wards on the cathedral. It's time for me to retrieve the eye and bring it to Constantine. Last time I was here, the eye was inside, in plain sight on the main altar. I just have to grab it and leave. But that won't necessarily be easy if the place is as haunted as it looked before. So if things get tough, there is another way out. Through the gate in the cloister, behind the cathedral. The sooner this ordeal is over with, the better. When I get paid for this job, I'm gonna retire in style. the Council of the Keepers, you must come with us. Garrett, be reasonable. Logic dictates... Leave. But we must... Now! Has your wealth of knowledge grown so vast that you've lost all hunger for more? Is there no more trust between us, then? <sighs> Let's make this fast. Karis is throwing a ball for the local nobility at Angel Watch the new Mechanist Tower in Dayport. We need to know what he is up to. You have to be there, Garrett. Tonight, while the party is in progress. Angel Watch? Is this how our arrangement is gonna work? You coming up with ways for me to get myself killed? body have on it? Uh, nothing. N nothing? No, I was just going to get another body when you came in and took over. <laughs> you know, I don't ask for much. Respect. <clears throat> A stiff drink. Gold.
And for my men to do what they're fucking told. Put his body in the furnace. Check it for coin. No point in wasting a bolt. different than I guarantee. What's this? The master thief. Have I come at a bad time? <laughs> Forgive my clumsiness. Since our first encounter, I've always been a bit heavy-footed on this leg. They used to plunge a caught thief's hand into hot tar, Garrett. Black handing. But yours I'll have for my mantelpiece. <laughs> I can't tell you how pleased I am with you, Mr. Garrett. I simply can't find the words. But perhaps Victoria can help me in that regard. She has such a way with them. Yes, we are both so very pleased. Victoria? Even though the eye is defective. What? Victoria is quite right, Mr. Garrett. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but this eye is completely blind. It's a rock. It's what you asked for. Am I going to get paid or not? Of course. Victoria, are you prepared to give Mr. Garrett his compensation? Bow to the woodsy lord and offer up your flesh eyes so that his eye of stone may see, man fool. Bids he then the spruces to sing her him an anthems, and the woodsy lord binders then fleshes to stone. Did you think those ancient phrases were mere words, man fool? Look at me! I am the woodsy lord, the trickster of legend. If you be thirsty, flesh thing, drink of me. If you be hungry, then feed, for I am the honey maker and the jumpsterry. He am the leaf that feeders on the fleshed ones, them that calls themselves builders, and wielded up a hammers against him. And my poor mystic eye, you will not live to see the sprawling glory of it. Your sacrifice is not yet complete. My lilacs and my thistlelaves must feed, and I stands he then in the greens and festive maw, and speeds he of his judgments upon the weeps and writhing manfolds.
loading before summer's day is over. Why not drink to a job well done first? We, we can't just leave the car down here. It's festival time. Your average thief will be under a table in an alehouse. And the watch will be liquored up too. I'm not haggling fines with a drunk guard again. My unusually resourceful employer has given me all the information I need to pull this off, including a very detailed map of the building. Meanwhile, I have no idea where I am or what I'll be up against, and even if I did, there's no going back for supplies. If I believed in it, now would be a good time for me to wish for luck. I've also got a map. It's so old, the edges crumble in my hands. It shows the city. Or at least how it was back then. I hope the old place hasn't changed much.
This is my way out, but once I drop down, there's no coming back. Some of you from the user's passenger.
So, that's the castle future. So you can tell me to get a leak. That was the time. Maybe talk to your regular size, I thought. So, can't just be sure for some part. Thank you. 
I know, I know, dear.
Let's go. Careful.
a fighting chance. What do you say, Gary? That's a lot of guards. They're definitely not here for the summer festival dance. A lot of guards means a lot of steel. Thieves and swords do not get on well. I've never had a problem with swords. But then again, I'm not just a thief. the time so you can't fix it around here. The audio department is three people. It's myself, uh, uh, a guy named Kamal, and a guy named Ramin. It's nice to have them board. They, every, we pretty much everyone splits duties and does everything. Thief is uh, very interesting sound-wise because it's one of the first games that really uses sound as a central part of the gameplay. Hey, what was that noise? 
Is that you? We've got to stop jumping. You work hard on the sound, and it's nice to to have a game that really shows it off. In Thief 2, hopefully, we'll be able to expand a little bit. Although we don't want to change the nature of sound in Thief, we don't want to have like disco tracks in the background uh, because it's not appropriate. But hopefully, we'll be able to do some more involved things. Damn things stay lit. Every time I get it going, it fizzles out again. You couldn't set a cloth aflame if it was doused in oil, son. I'll show you how it's done. If you pack it together too close, then the air won't feed the flames. Uh, I should know better. My family used to be charcoal burners. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's work you don't see much since the factories came. Oh, come on. What? I need to take him down quickly, quietly. Wrong place, wrong time. You haven't changed, have you? What's that supposed to mean? It means I don't kill without thought or good reason, and I don't get paid. 